Hello good people and welcome to another Funza Academy math video. My name is Ahia and I love maths. Take a look at these numbers appearing on the screen as I speak. Anything special about them? Yes, they are all perfect squares. A perfect square is a number that can be expressed as a product of two equal integers. So, if we consider one of these numbers, say 576, it can be expressed as a product of 24 times 24. 24 is the square root of 576. In this video, we will look at a cool way to find the square root of a perfect square. There are a few steps involved, so please be patient and understand the steps well. I can promise you that the reward is well worth the effort. After you watch this video, I can promise that you will find the square root numbers such as 2025 mentally and in just a few seconds. Ok, time for me to bring in Uncle Sanjay to do the explaining. All the best! So the first thing I want you to do is learn the square of numbers between 1 and 10. So for example, 1 squared is equal to 1, 2 squared is equal to 4, and so on. Now once you do this, you'll start seeing patterns in these squares out here. So for example, there is one number, 25, whose last digit ends in 5. And similarly, we can look at other patterns. For example, you have this 1 out here. And there's just one other number, which is 81, whose last digit is 1. Okay, and similarly, let's look at another pattern. So here we have, have a number 4, uh, and there's just other one other square, whose last digit is 4, which is 64 out here. So similarly, 9, and this one other square, which is 49, uh, whose last digit is 9. And similarly, we have the 16 out here, and there's one other number, which is 36. So the next thing what we're going to learn is a cool trick on how to find the square of numbers that end in a 5. So for example, we have 5 square, and that's 25, that's pretty straightforward. So let's take bigger numbers, 15 square, let's take a 25 square, a 65 square, and one more biggie, which is 105 square, right? So the first thing we got to do is uh, we look at the units digit, which is 5 in each of these cases, and 5 square is 25. So let's just write that down, right? So after looking at the units place, which is 5, we look at the next uh, digit. So in this case, 5 square is 0. So of course we ignore it. In the next case, uh, it's 1. So what comes after 1? So the next digit after 1 is a 2, right? So we're going to have 1 into 2 is 2. So what we're going to write is 1 into 2 is 2, as I said. So this will be 225. So let's take 25 square. So we have the 2 out here. What comes after 2 is 3. So that will give us 625. Similarly, for in the third, in this case, 65 square, 6 into 7 is 42. Similarly, what comes after 10? It's 11. So 10 into 11 is 110. And we have 11,025. So that was pretty easy and quick, right? Right, so just to recap, so we have seen two patterns out here. So the first thing that we saw was the square of numbers between 1 and 10. So while the squares themselves are not that difficult, what's important to note is the pattern. So for example, if I were to ask you, which numbers have their square ending in 4? So it should strike you that it's 2 and 8, for example. Hey? Uh, and then similarly, the second pattern that we looked at was the squares of numbers ending in 5. Okay, so if you haven't, it'll take some time, obviously, to uh, uh, understand, uh, revise, and memorize these patterns. So don't worry too much about it. So for now, let's go ahead and look at our first question. And the question is, what is the square root of this perfect square, which is 169? So as you can see, this is a three-digit number. So what we will do is we will split 
this number into two parts. So the first thing we will do is to put these last two digits to one side and this other third digit to the other side. Okay. So first we'll focus on this third digit, which is one. And we'll go back to the first pattern and, and find out if there is any number whose square is one. Okay. So in this case, it's quite straightforward. One square is equal to one. So we'll write down this one out here. And this is the first part of our answer. The next thing we'll do is we'll focus on this, uh, uh, units and tens uh, digit, which is uh, 69. And let's pause for a moment and then go back to our squares out here. And we'll see if there's any number whose square ends in a nine. Okay, so let me repeat that. Is there any number whose square ends in a nine? So of course, we have got two candidates out here. Three square is nine as well as seven square is nine. So let's write that down. So we've got the three out here. And also let's put down the one and put down the seven. So as you can see, immediately we've got two numbers and we have actually reached or very, or very close to our answer. So basically our answer is 13 or 17, which means either 13 square is 169 or 17 square is 169. So which one, or, which one is the correct answer? That's the question. So what we could do is, now this is a pretty nice uh, strategy. The strategy will be to look in between. Okay, so what's between 13 and 17? So we have 15. So let's write that down. So let's try to find out 15 square. Okay, so this is quite simple and we go back to our second pattern. So we write down to 25 out here. And of course, we focus on the one and what comes after one is two. So one into two is two. So we get 225. So basically, 15 square is 225. So how has this helped us? Well, uh, 13 square would obviously be less than 225. And 17 square would obviously be more than 225. So we have got, we have, uh, our answer is 169. So this would mean that 13 square gives us 169. Right, so time for our next example. So again, we're going to try another three digit perfect square, which is 576. And this time again, our strategy is going to be the same. We're going to split our number into two parts. So first we have 76 to one side and then the five to the other side. So now focusing on the five, we will go back to this uh, pattern one out here, the squares, and see if there's any square which is uh, whose value is five. So obviously there's no square whose, which is five. So the next thing we look do is we look at the squares and see the which which square comes closest to five, but is less than five. So let me repeat that: which square? is closest to five and yet less than five. So our answer is four, right? So now we'll see which number square is equal to four. So two square is equal to four. So we write down the two here. Okay, so let me just pause for a moment and let that sink in. So this is important. Okay, so having done that, so let's focus on the 76 and look at the units place of 76, which is six. So the next thing is, again, we go back to our squares and we see which squares, uh, which square has its units digit equal to six. Okay, so we have got 16 out here and the 36. So basically four square is equal to 16 and six square is equal to 36. So let's put down the four and the six. So essentially what we have, we've got is that our square root is either a 24 or a 26. So basically 24 square or 26 square will give us 576. So again, we look in between and basically what comes between 24 and 26 is our friend 25, okay, whose last digit ends in a 5. 
So basically what we can do quickly with our second pattern is we can quickly find the square of 25. And again, we put down to 25 here. And then we focus on this 2 out here. What comes after 2 is 3. So 3 twos are 6. So basically 25 square is 625. So obviously, like before, 24 square will be less than 625. And since we have the 576 here, it can only mean that 24 square gives us 576. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have comments, I would also like to hear from you. My name is Sanjay and I make weekly math videos. Thanks a lot and bye for now.